Hello guys, this is Reese from Bimarito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Peak Edition SE with Technology 4 Motion Turbo. This particular one is avocado green metallic on the exterior with Titan black leatherette with orange stitching on the interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors, the much more rugged looking front end with the two chrome strips down below the LED light bar and it running right up to the illuminated logo on the front. This blacked out grill on the front here flat silver finish on the, the spoiler or the chin down at the bottom here with more of those little scales down there at the bottom much more aggressive looking car here there's cladding even on the side trimmed out in that flat silver finish 18 inch alloy wheels with all-terrain tires it also has peak edition flare on a quarter panel into the door and then black mirror caps with integrated turn signals black trim around the window sills black roof rails the black cladding and the wheel arches and underneath the bumper is a little more rugged as well with more silver cladding back here park distance sensors as well a 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included this much more rugged baffle down here at the bottom and dual full exhaust tips they're actually rectangular in shape or it's more squared off than a regular atlas and then it has the blacked out uh, atlas nameplate on the back here the letters are chrome there's your illuminated logo and your illuminated tail light at the back. It says SE off to the left and 4Motion off to the right. Black spoiler accents as well right here. Let's take a look at the inside. Quartzite gray right here on the inset. Perforated leatherette down here, regular leatherette up here. And then you have a carbon fiber pattern around the window the door handle here speaking of the door handle you do have uh, this guy here uh, now has a bottom to it in previous atlases that was all the way through and then you have orange stitching here on the arm pad down below power lift gate switch is right here I can lift up on that guy and open my rear hatch and then I can lift up on that and hold it and I can also close my rear hatch you just hold it until it closes contactless pickup is done that way stainless steel scuff plate right here power lumbar forward back up and down here seat back adjust here more of that quartzite gray right here it goes up the bolster here it's compounded with a contrast stitch in orange right here and then you have the quilted uh, diamond stitch uh, leatherette seats here that are heated and ventilated the headrest double contrast stitch here it's manually adjusted trimmed out in black you also get a double contrast stitch right there on the arm pad and if you look through to the back this is a bench setup right here Adjustable headrests on all three seats, more of that quartzite gray on the bolsters of the two outboard seats, and a fold down armrest in the middle. And as we climb in, just like in the R line, you get stainless steel pedal caps down below. You get this flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel with the flat, flat silver finish on the spokes here, and then down at the base here, a splash of piano black, and it says Peak Edition at the bottom. The Volkswagen logo set up right there in the center. This is an adjustable steering wheel where I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it for telescoping. So I can set it where I need it and then lock it back. I have volume control right here, song and preset skip over here. Um, I adapt a cruise control here and travel assist down here. Paddle shifters up on the top sides. On the tip of the stalk here, on that little button there I can push, that brings up my lane assist. I can turn that on just by checking the OK box right there and arrowing down. My adaptive cruise control, I can turn that on over here. And I also have regular cruise control, side assist, rear traffic alert, and front assist. I can also push this button to lock out of that guy right there. The instrument cluster here, this is a digital cockpit. There's multiple screens here. The default color is going to be orange on a peak edition. Um, but you have multiple screens here. You have one bonus screen here for the peak edition that you don't get in any other atlases. Uh, we'll scroll through and get that one. That one right there, which shows your... Uh, your level your uh, feet above sea level so you have that guy there exclusively to the peak editions there's an seo version as well um but this is the se tech double stacked uh vents over here on the left and on the far right over there you do have this carbon fiber pattern picking up from the door panel and continue across behind the infotainment screen over to the other side gloss black below that or piano black down here and it goes back underneath uh, the instrument cluster over here and then that quartzite gray picks up from the door and goes across underneath that and then another layer down below with the perforated leatherette below that going into the doors 
So they've done a lot with the interior here to make it look a lot more appealing uh, and just a lot more bougie. Um, you do have a speaker up here now instead of a storage bin and you get this giant 12 inch screen here. I'll come back to this in a second. Up above here you have the home link mirror here in this particular one. It's not a standard item, but this one has it. Auto dimming with the digital compass right there. Three door garage door memory. Vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. You have that on both of these. Pretty nice. And a light gray headliner. Panoramic sunroof. Power sunshade. Two swipers right here to open both of those. There's your sunshade going back. There's your sunroof. Pop-up windscreen right here to keep bugs and things out. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one. It's tinted too, so you can see it looks a little darker back there. But I want to go ahead and close that because, man, it is not warm today. All right, so there's your tinted glass for your sunroof there. The sunroof goes back over the first two rows of seats. Uh, back down to the radio here, you get three main setups here. So you've got three screens. I'm going to swipe to the right here. You have gesture control here, so you can actually... Um, scroll through these items here these, these are your main menu items here you can hit the home button or swipe you can swipe either way uh, so swiping to the, to the left gets you back to this one swiping to the right gets you to the split screen here swiping to the right or to the left I should say gets you to the third screen as well it's split up here now in, e in this uh, vehicle status screen there's a subfolder here where you can get to tire pressure and also your oil level right inside that one I can swipe again back to this guy here and it can do the same thing up here. You'll also notice there's an auto start stop shut off button right there. So I can shut that, disable that auto start stop. Also, it says starting navigation. Even though this car doesn't come with navigation, that's a software default. You can touch right here and hold. That'll bring up the trash can and you can delete that tile and use one of these other two here in its place. But I'll leave that for the first owner of the car. Otherwise, it's gonna say starting navigation the whole time because it'll never find navigation. You do also get heated seats and ventilated seats standard in this car. Climate control can be reached by touching right here or down here where it says Clima down below. This is more convenient, so I always tap right here. I can adjust my temperature right there. I can hit sync and pair those two. Whoops. I went I went back there. So I'm gonna tap there, I hit there, and I can go down and I can tap to adjust my temperature. Now that both sides are synced. To turn on a heated seat and a ventilated seat is just one tap to turn it on. Then another to go to medium, another to go to low, and another to turn it off. So I can turn it down or off. Heated steering wheel is also something that is now standard on a car. I missed that one. I didn't tell you that about that one, but it's right here on the screen here. And I can bring it up there, and it has three phases as well. So I can go, start on high, and then medium, then low, then off, just like the heated seat. So back over here, air care is your air filtration system. It scrubs the air before it circulates in a cabin. That little blue line so shows your status of that filtration. Uh, so if you live by a sticky landfill or maybe roadkill or something, skunks, anything like that, when this is running, you're not gonna smell them from the outside world in your car. Classic Climate gives you this classic setup here where your vents are all buttons. Your fan speed is a little slider right here. You also can control the rear climate control here, turn it off and also lock it where passengers can't mess with it in the back. Kids, you know who you are. Uh, and then you also have smart climate where you have these different views here to warm your hands warm feet and you can also speak it Hello Volkswagen My feet are cold Okay, warming your feet in the front There you go. Pretty nice. Okay, so you all you have all that down below here Your climate control stuff is right here. Your assist systems are right there Assist systems, as I went through before on the turnstock, this is another way to get to them. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist, change, uh, side assist, uh, and then front assist, which is your emergency braking and emergency assist. Emergency assist kicks in when you are having a medical emergency and stops the car and honks for help. Um, I can X out of that there. Parking menu, it's park distance sensors. I can turn them on and off. It also brings up, it also brings up uh, uh, rear view camera when I'm stationary right here all right so modes I have these different modes here eco comfort sport custom off-road and snow I have all of those there um, and then uh, also I missed this guy the drop down menu here you can do that by gesture control it goes away it comes down and you can also change to bright from bright to dark and back again I'll leave that on bright uh, the backup camera Put the car in reverse with your foot on the brake. 
the shift and the reverse. There's your backup camera with trajectory steering. Turn the wheel right, turn the wheel left. It just goes accordingly. The red line signifies where your bumper is and where your hatch is, your hatch door will hit. Uh, also, the green line signifies straight back. The red line, I'm sorry, the yellow line shows your trajectory of how, where you have this, this steering wheel turned. I'll we'll go ahead and put that back in park. Away goes the backup camera. And down below here, wireless charging, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Two USB-C connections right here uh, that are backlit so you can see those at night. Uh, but this side is storage, this side is wireless charging. You do get another USB-C up here for a dash cam. So Volkswagen kind of thought outside the box there and, and included that. So you'll start seeing that in more cars, I bet. Um, you do get uh, orange stitching down the side here. This piano black right here. Um, here's a look at the key. The piano black theme continues with the key here. There's your lock, unlock, power, lift gate, remote start, and panic alarm. On the back, there's a VW logo right there. Stadium seat style cup holders here. One slightly higher than the other one there, so your lids aren't battling for supremacy on the way home. You do get a little bit of storage right here as well. And then inside here, there is a USB-C connection in here that's also backlit. And you get storage in here and storage down below. A little um, uh, icon down there for your key. Uh, so if your key fob is dead, uh, you can still start your car. Over here on this side, there's your manuals right there for store, or it's in the, the glove box, and then um, seat belt clip protectors there, and cargo, I'm sorry, um, tire warranty right there. Passenger seat is going to be manually adjusted right there. And then also over on this side, you have your seat back uh, adjust with uh, this front one here. And then this one raises and lowers your seat in a pumping fashion. More bottle and cup storage right there. Let's take a look at the back seats. This one comes in at 49058. Extras on this one include 405 for the auto dimming home link bear, 346 for monster mats, 275 for a third year of prepaid maintenance, 110 for luggage nets, 17 bucks for a USB-C adapter, and then 1350 for destination. That brings you to 49058. Open this one up here. Sunshades back here in the back. You get that on both sides. These windows are tinted as well. And then you get more of that carbon fiber pattern here. And then USB, I'm sorry, uh, quartzite gray leatherette here and perforated leatherette below it. And then black leatherette down here with the contrast stitch right there. Bottoms to the door handles again and three storage compartments here. Here's a look at the seats with that car, that gray, uh, that gray uh, bolster right here. Contrast stitching here and the, uh, the quilted seats here. Quilted sit, stitch seats here. Uh, fold down armrest in the middle there. I'm getting tongue tied more and more guys. I'm just this is crazy uh, Pockets right here for storage and over here lots of leg room here There's a look at your car seat hookups here and also here and also a third set in the middle right here You can get three car seats in this row. The armrest is squishy yet firm adjustable headrests on all three seats There's a look at your uh, Climate control back here two USB C's down below and then a three prong plug in right there and there's a look up to the front. And there's a look at your giant panoramic sunroof again. Let's look at the, take a look at the rear hatch. There's a look at your wheels right there. Those are the all-terrain tires, 18-inch wheels. Back here between the T and the L. Here's a look through from the back. Well, what I was saying is between the T and the L, that's a little switch where you open the hatch there. There's a look through to the front. This is a true seven-seater. C-pillar vent on that side and also on this side. Storage compartments here and two USB-C's right there, a 12 volt charger port right there, and then you also have a recessed trunk light in the rear on both sides. Bag hooks on the right side right here. Here's your cargo blocks and uh, the rubber mat kit right here. Front license plate is over there. And then we have luggage net here and also your uh, adapter. Down below right here, there's your spare tire. And quick release there someone's desperately trying to call me so i'm gonna have to go here there's your power lift gate there this car comes with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from volkswagen four years 50,000 miles and it includes three years of scheduled maintenance also if you buy from me i'm going to give you an additional three years of free maintenance and a 10-year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge give me a call 636-290-4257 636-290-4257 i'm on tiktok youtube facebook twitter and instagram at resales cars thanks a lot guys stay safe stay healthy have a great day